What do sprinters eat before a race? Tell me. Oh, it's bad. What do sprinters eat before a race? What do they eat? Nothing, they fast. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys will have just seen the vlog I filmed before this, that little week in the life, because it just, it goes right into this weekend. But obviously we are filming a little weekend in the life this weekend, I'm so excited. So Josh is gone and that's not why I'm excited. <laughs> but Josh is gone, I had a girls night last night and then tomorrow, well I was gonna do it today, but tomorrow, we are gonna get a few things ready for my new job. You guys know that I'm going to be working back at the bedside. I think it is like just so crazy that it happened and the way it worked out is just like, it feels super meant to be and I just feel like I might've finally just found my place in the hospital setting. I kind of already went over this all in my video, but um, I'm just so excited and I start a ton of my stuff this week and then Next week is my official first week back as a nurse. But anyways, we are doing a lot of stuff to prepare for that. Tomorrow I also need to take my headshot, like my picture for my badge reel, and then put that in a Dropbox. I also have to get a ton of paperwork together that I also need to put in a folder to bring with me when I go into my employee appointment this week. And then I also need to be able to upload it all and get it into a Dropbox with the badge reel picture as well. So we're gonna do a lot of work prep this weekend so i'm super excited and um yeah anyways i was so tired this morning we went out last night like i said we didn't get home till like 12 something i don't think we went to bed till like after one and that's just not how my body works i feel like you can just see it in my face like i am exhausted so i we what happened so we woke up at like 8 30 we went and we got ready we went to einstein's we got some starbucks we went to go get our nails done I got this fun like neon yellow. Taylor just had it the last time. And I really couldn't decide what I wanted and I really just didn't care what to do this time. So Tay told me to do this, so I did. And it's so cute. I'm actually really glad I did it. It's very fun. Um, but yeah, anyways, so we did that. And then after that, I had to do a Sephora run. I have zero shampoo, zero conditioner, zero face lotion. I've just been riding on like weird small little travel things that I've got and I just needed to bite the bullet and go get some stuff. So we all made a trip and we went to the mall this morning. We went to Sephora. We went to Lush to see if they had any of their spooky season bath stuff out yet, which not yet, but they did say end of August. So we're gonna, we're gonna check back in in a couple of weeks. And then we also went to Flower Child and got lunch and brought it home. And then I put on Haunted Mansion. I ate some of that. I couldn't eat a whole lot. I wasn't that hungry. And then I turned the dark in here and I passed the fuck out for at least two and a half hours. I woke up at like 3.30, lounged around on the couch a little bit. I was having a really hard time getting up. I was having just like, I was having the scaries. I was like, I need to be doing things. I should have been editing. There's just, I was just like really in my head. So I just kind of lounged around, texted Josh for a little bit. He scored a hole in one this weekend. So he was super excited and we were just catching up and so cute. But yeah, so that's where I've been. And then I just got up, I changed out of my sweatshirt 
and into what I'm wearing and we went on a little walk and it actually started raining on us as soon as like we left my front porch. Um, but it was kind of a nice walk and it wasn't too hot, which was really nice, but we're back now. I don't even know what time it is now. It's probably almost six. Yeah, it's 547. I thought I would give you guys a quick Sephora haul, say hey to the vlog. And then my goal is to get in the tub. I want to watch a movie, just relax in there. I want to make some sleepy time tea. I want to watch a scary movie. And my goal is to be in bed by at least like 8, 8.30 because I'm so tired and I really wanna be productive tomorrow. I have a yoga class tomorrow and all of this stuff. So really just wanna be productive and well rested and to make up for the lack of sleep from last night. So I'm gonna give you guys a Sephora haul. And then I also think, I don't know. I might, uh, I really need to edit. I really should be getting a video up tomorrow because I'm so behind and I have so many videos to get up, but I'm just having a hard time getting to that. And it is six, so maybe I can edit Maybe I'll go edit from 6 to at least 7, 7.30, and then we'll draw a bath and try and be in there till like 8.30, get out, and then get straight in bed. Um, maybe, I, maybe I'll only edit till 7. That way I have an hour and a half for a bath. But anyways, here's a Sephora haul. I am trying the day hair stuff. My cousin was like really recommending it. There's two other options, and the blue one said it was for hit like dry blah, blah blah hair and i have a really oily scalp obviously you guys should know that by now um i have very oily hair i wash my hair every single day so i got this one it smells so good it smells like my um hair cream the styling hair cream i use from them so love that and then i have had a hard time deciding what skincare i liked the most out of all the ones i have tried in the last like year or so and the one I keep going back for is Drunk Elephant. So I think that's just like my new skincare regimen and I'm okay with it. I love their stuff. So I got their Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I love this. It feels so, so, so yummy. I also like it because you can use this um, morning and night. So I love that. And then I, yesterday when I was getting ready, was just like, oh, I miss having like an eye cream, just like an extra way to hydrate the underneath my eyes, especially for when I'm like getting ready and putting makeup on. So I got their little C Tango vitamin C eye cream and that's it. Oof. So I'm gonna unpack these, go put it all away in my bathroom and then we're gonna go in the office and sit down and edit and try and crank out a video. That's the update. Welcome to my vlog.
been a little while. It's about 3 p.m. right now. I just sat down. I made a quick little lunch. I just made something super boring, but I cooked some rice in some chicken bone broth. I did some garlic, garbon garlic garbanzo beans, feta, hummus, and some olives. Super easy. I wasn't really in the mood for anything. I was still kind of full from my smoothie, and then we also are having a dinner tonight, but I just wanted to make sure I ate something. Um... But anyways, it's really gloomy out. I still need to sit down and go through. I did edit a video, thank goodness, and I'm gonna start another one, hopefully here in a little bit, but I am going to get a ton of work stuff ready for my employee appointment on Wednesday. I have to make a whole folder of things. I have to bring paper proof and stuff in, like vaccines and all of that kind of stuff. And then I have to upload everything to this Dropbox. So I'm just gonna go through the emails, make sure I have everything. I'm gonna make a little list of it. That way, as I upload it to the Dropbox, I can just check everything off and make sure everything is ready to go. That way, I'm not worrying about it the next couple of days prior to my appointment. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat. I'm probably going to put on a show or something, and then I'm going to start doing that. And then hopefully, once that's done, maybe we can edit and clean up a bit. And then when Josh gets home, we are going to be cooking a HelloFresh dinner. But yeah, I'm going to eat because I'm a little hungry and I need to get all this stuff done, hopefully before my husband gets home. been a minute i got all of my drop box stuff except for one thing turned in i need to take my headshot so <laughs> maybe i'll take that when josh gets home but it has to be in like natural lighting i need a light wall and all these things and it's actually kind of dark outside and our lighting in our house is really harsh so i don't know if that will like print well on like a badge so we might have to wait tomorrow but we'll see i also put on this monster mess sweatshirt that i got from Kristen jones i will link her website below it's so cute um, but yeah, anyways, it's like almost four now. I'm freezing, so I'm gonna make some hot tea. And I also found some stickers that I had in my drawer and I'm gonna put them on my water bottle. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make some tea, do this, and then just probably chill until Josh gets home, honestly. <music> Alright guys, it has been a little while. Sorry, my hair is bothering me. But Josh is home now. He is showering and unpacking his stuff. He said he's pretty hungry. I guess he's lived off of beers and hot dogs and high noons all weekend. So very nutritious. But I decided I'm going to cook us this HelloFresh dinner. This is a rosemary fig pork tenderloin with kale and sweet potato jumble. He has wanted this since our HelloFresh arrived the day he left. So I felt really bad, so I waited for him and thought I would just make it a nice little yummy dinner for him tonight now that he's home. I'm going to do this and then afterwards we're just gonna vibe and hopefully watch the rest of Conjuring. All right guys, we are back at it again with HelloFresh, our favorite, you guys already know. And fall is right around the corner and HelloFresh is here to help you plan for the busy season ahead with tasty delicious dishes delivered right to your door. All you gotta do is pick your recipes, pick your delivery day, and sit back and enjoy the last days of summer knowing dinner is covered. Also, if you're like us and get bored with recipes easily, they have 40 chef-crafted recipes to select from every week. So you really can always count on HelloFresh for new and exciting recipes to try and keep dinners fun. It's also 25% cheaper than takeout and less expensive than grocery shopping, and with my code, you can save even more. All you have to do is go to hellofresh.com and use my code 50 Ashley Taylor at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. That is hellofresh.com and you use my code 50 Ashley Taylor at checkout for 50% off you guys and free shipping. 
I will also have a link down below, but I really hope you guys try it and I really hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, dinner was so good. I am getting ready for bed because I am tired. Ooh, I'm gonna wear my... Guys, these are the Cozy Earth PJs. I literally got another pair for Mother's Day from Josh because after I worked with him, I was like obsessed. So he got me more and they're the best. I don't know if my code still works, but if you wanna spend some money on some PJs and actually be happy about it, try Cozy Earth. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to change into my PJs and then we're gonna go wash my face. And then we're gonna go lay back on the couch and then watch Conjuring, finish it, and then I'm gonna see if he wants to watch The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, or if he wants to watch um, The Nun. I'm interested, I'm interested. Mm -hmm. 